something that's gone in the bottom. Oh, that's a big fish actually. That's a very big fish. Okay. We've made it. This is King's Cliff, fellas. Don't really know where to launch or I don't know anything about this area, but I'm gonna give it a go. It's a little bit windy, a little bit, it's offshore and nippy. Definitely a bit cold. I wish I brought the wetsuit today, but yeah, we'll be going in shorts. It's looking all right though. Not too wild out there. A few sets to paddle through here and then we'll go over there somewhere. <laughs> I have no idea. We'll figure it out. Let's see if we can get through this. How did you go? But you didn't go over, right? Oh, no. <laughs> I was so clumsy. <laughs> yeah, it just like two ways just crossed over. And it was actually the way before that like set me up for it. Yeah. I didn't even... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's good, it was actually nice and warm. <laughs> Wow, you're gonna start straight away. Oh, nice is that. All right, so I made it to King's Cliff and I went over in the surf. <laughs> so, we're already wet and I'm wearing shorts. A bit of a nippy one. I got my friend Yas with me and Justin is here as well, showing us the ropes. It's all new ground here. I'm gonna run a exactly what was set up in Palm Beach because I didn't swap it. So I'm gonna run a dead bait to begin with and I'll probably swap it out as I go. Double weighted. I'm just gonna let my dead bait in. No idea what I'm doing or where I am. What water I'm fishing, but I'm letting it in. I can see a bit of stuff here, so it's 10 meters. It's a tight drag. That's good. Heaps of bait. You know, busting up over here. All happening. It's alive. Not what I'm used to. I'll paddle through them, but I don't think I'll throw any slugs at them. You never know what hangs around these fish, though.
I'm onto something. Didn't feel particularly big at the start there. Could be Spanish though. Something that's going in the bottom. Oh, that's a big fish actually. That's a very big fish. Okay. Could be Spanish still. Stays up a little bit. Ah, straight away. I was expecting to paddle around for a little bit longer. Oh, I'm at a tough angle here, it's running under the kayak. Anyhow, we'll clean this up for you. Hopefully that's a bit better. I can't do much. It doesn't feel like tuna. I'm starting to get snapper, which I'm not used to fishing, so I don't really know what they feel like. I'm sure I look for waves now as well, because I don't really know where I am, but looks all right so far. Coming. Silver, long. Looks like Spanish. Yeah. Never know what's around these little bus stops, eh? We got a leader. It's a big fish. It's gonna do one more run, so keeping that drag pretty loose. What do we got? The donkey Spanish. It's a good fish. I want to get this on the other side. That's a big Spanish. Oh shit. Oh, it's hanging on. I just kicked the, uh, kicked the hook out and it's still hooked with a little treble, a little stinger hook. Spanish. <sighs> I can't believe it. it. Can't be that easy. First fish in Kingscliff. I haven't caught a fish like this in a while. Oh my goodness. Look at that. That's a big nice Spanish. <sighs> All right. Let's go home now. Alright guys, 
There we go. Big Spanish. Oh, that's all I need. I don't know what to do now. I guess we'll rig up again and give it away to friends if we or release it if we catch something. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm so cold. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep running my um, my deep diver. Never know, like I've actually caught some snapper on that before, so I'm just shaking. I can't put my dead weight on, it's like ice fishing in Canada. It's, I feel about the same. Swim's great. Let's do it. I think we've got some tuna. It feels very tuna ish and it's not very big. I'm sorry, I've got a lot of shit on the lens. <laughs> so bouncy. Very bouncy. Very tuna like. Get my dead bait in so I don't get stuck in the bottom. Bonito, I mean. Look at this. Hey. Beautiful little bonitos. You can go back, mate. There we go. Swim off. Come on, mate. You can do this. There he goes. Just realized you didn't catch my bonito there. I haven't had the camera roll. So I've decided we're gonna swap out this deep diver for some dead baits and do this properly. It's getting a little bit late in the day now, but if there's Spanish around, I want to be trolling my slimies after them, not pick up little bonito and stuff with this guy. Can always put him back on. That's what I'm doing right now. I'll be back in a sec. Depth's 28 meters. All right, it's a bit deep. So I've got two dead baits on now. And um, you rolling? You are rolling. So two dead baits. I'm gonna go in a little bit closer. And we'll see if we can uh, find some more Spanish. If it's on offer. So let's start getting this in. That one's far enough back. Snapper fishing will have to be a different time. I wanna, I wanna paddle, keep me, keep me warm. The sun is up now though, so it's warm enough, but I'm not really rigged up for snapper. I'm gonna study that a little bit. Anyway, enough babbling, we'll start fishing. All right, I was just letting that guy out. That's crazy. Sorry, a bit ill prepared here. What could this be? Feels tuna like, but we don't know at this stage. I didn't even check the drag. 
Oh, I gotta get that other line. <sighs> yeah, that feels tuna like. I'd love a long tail if I can put my order in now. Do you know like very do you know like Let's see if we're to start reeling this in. It's a nice snapper. Yeah, I got a snapper on. Oi. Look at that. Beginner's luck. Oh, definitely a bit of beginner's luck here. Sorry mate, yeah. This is not your day. Look at the color, it all fades when they die. Didn't know that. Nice snapper. Ooh. All right, this is where the waves are. I gotta get out of here. Look at this. I was just paddling left because there's a diver here right in front of me. Not very well marked. Hope that's the end of this thing. Craziness. Just out swimming. <laughs> so yeah, one Spanish. One little snapper. Let's show the damage. There we go. Man, that's nice. Oh, it's gonna be nice cooking with these this week. Snapper, last time I had it, sashimi. Snapper sashimi was amazing. And uh, the Spanish will, uh, will do crispy skin. That's what the guys in the house want. And I'm gonna prepare a bit of it. I do like little fish tacos, like already crumbed stuff, chuck them back in the freezer. It's nice to do when it's right fresh and you just do it up and chuck it in the freezer as you have it for the next month. But yeah, most of it I'm gonna try and eat fresh. I'm drifting into a boat here. So yeah. Nice day. Looking forward to fishing more in Kingsford. Got something small, I reckon.
Did it come off? That would be disappointing. Nah, still here. What do we got? A little, little schoolie or chewing up? Oh, a little baby, baby Spanish. It's got some nice stripes. I can see the bottom here. This is not a good spot to be in. It's two to four meters. So yeah, not a keeper, this guy. Hey mate. I wonder if I'm just gonna put him there. I'm gonna paddle away from the reef here. Little baby Spanish. If you weren't so small, you'd be in a lot of trouble, mate. Yeah, don't bite that. That's your your rescue. Off he goes. Come on, mate. Swim up. There he goes. Woo. Little baby Spanish. Yeah, this feels like a bad spot to sit two meters deep. I want to get out of here and still see the bottom. Ready to go in. Oh, look at this. Mr. Turtle. Hey, mate. Sorry to get too close. I'm not going to put the camera under the water, even though he's right here. You might be able to see it. It's right underneath me. It's hoping to get some fish, maybe. Hey, mate. So cool. Anyway, I'm gonna leave him alone and uh, start heading in. That's been a very successful trip. Kingscliff, deliver the goods. There he goes.